In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a polyglot chess opening book. Hi, I'm Steve Morn. I'm the author of Maverick, the chess program. And Maverick uses the polyglot opening format as its uh, format for its opening books. So I really need to create a polyglot opening book uh, that Maverick can use. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do is download some resources from the internet. The first resource is a free program called SCID. And this is a tool or a program which manipulates PGN databases, Portable Games Notation. So uh, you can download it from this address here. If you do a, a search, SCID Chess, you should find it. Second tool, uh, this is not compulsory. If you have a text editor that you like, then by all means use it but I like Notepad++ and when we create the batch files later on it's going to be great for manipulating those. The third tool is Polyglot written by the legend in computer chess program programming Fabian Lettuze. So he wrote Fruit, he also wrote Polyglot and here we have version 1.4. You might need a DLL if uh, you're going to run under Windows. Then the fourth tool is called PGN Extract. It's been around a while. It's maintained by David Barnes over in the UK. What that does is it cleans up PGN files. PGN files are notoriously uh, bad um, with all sorts of little errors and this sort of cleans them up nicely and we're going to use that uh, to clean up the PGN files prior to creating the opening book. And then the final download is you need a source of uh, high quality games. Now here we have Ed Schroeder's great site and he has a big database uh, it's called the Million Base 2.2 2.2 million quality games in PGM format absolutely brilliant and I think they're based on the This Week in Chess uh, databases which come out every week. So that's all we need to download. Uh, now we we're going to go ahead and you can install SCID and Notepad if you've downloaded it. And we're going to now create the or manipulate the databases prior to creating the opening book. So on my machine, I've installed SCID and I've extracted PGN extract and polyglot along with the DLL to my own little directory. And then I've got this million. Uh, base PGN file which actually when uh, uncompressed is about 1.4 gigabytes so it's pretty big. So uh, SCID will actually associate itself with the PGN extension so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and you can see it's going to take a little while to extract all of those games. I'll come back when it's finished. And we're nearly finished. Final few seconds now. 1 minute 43 seconds. Boom. There we go. And Skid normally maximizes. So here we have the Skid interface. And you can see, look at all these games down the bottom. Wow. And as Ed rightly said, there are just under 2.2 million games. Now we could make a database out of all of these, but we want it to have uh, quite a good quality. In fact, we'd like really only to use games where the winning side, uh, and the, the moves that we use, are played by players of reasonable ability. Now that's up to you for you to decide. I'm going to create what's called a filter, a header, and this is really the power of SCID. So if you do search and then header, you come to this um, this dialogue here. The first uh, filter I'm going to create is for white games. So I'd like the white player to be rated at least 2400. Now I don't really want them to be playing complete patses because they may play all sorts of weird stuff just to show off and almost as an exhibition game. So I'd like them to be playing black opponents of at least 2000. And I really only want to get white wins. So let's deselect all of these and select the white wins. And I think that's fine. 
uh, I don't want to ignore color so I'm going to search it's incredibly fast when it does this and close now you can see now I have far fewer games I now have in this filtered view 260,000 but these are all games where you can see white is at least 2400 and black is at least 2200 and ones where white won. So this is a great source of positions and games for creating a white opening book. Now Skid is really fantastic in that I can export all filter games as a PGN file. So add games to an existing, no I don't want to do that, no, 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 um, okay. And I'm going to call this white 2400.pgn and save it. And that takes a good 20 seconds, 22 seconds to go through. So we'll just wait. Nearly done. Final few seconds. So now that's the white database done. Uh, now I need to reset the filter and do another filter. This time I want to do 2200 because I'm going to do this from Black's perspective and I want rating of players at least 2400 for Black. I don't want white wins, I want black wins. And then I'm going to do the search and close and you can see there's 163,000 of these games. So once again, tools, export all filter games to a PGN file, hit OK, and then I'm going to call this black 2400.pgn. And they're going to export, and now we can use the, that black and white database to create our opening books. And we'll do that in a moment. Now you can see the two databases, black 2400 and white 2400 in this folder that I've created. Now notice I've also got the extract, PGN extract and polyglot programs as well as the DLL in the same folder. That's quite important. And here's the batch file. Now uh, there's two components to the batch file. There's the uh, make maverick book dot bat. There's also start pause dot text. I'm going to show you exactly what's in both of them. So I'm going to use Notepad++ to edit them, and I'm going to show you what this does first, and then we'll run the actual batch file. So uh, what the polyglot does is it, we first of all clean the games. So we use PGN extract to do that. Minus S means in silent mode. Then these three parameters uh, just clean out variations and comments and all that sort of stuff. Now we do want to only use games that start from the start position. In fact, Polyglot can't cope with games that start from a Fen notation. So in order to do that, we have to say minus T, in other words, only games that use this filter in this text file, and that's the other text file that's included in this download. And that's the start pause.txt, and it's just Fen, and then the opening position. And then minus O means the output file, and in this case it's clean white PGN. And the source file is white 2400.pgn. So that will create the database white 2400. And then I'm going to do a two passes. I'm going to make book, and I'm only going to do this for white. So I'm only going to have white moves in the opening book. And then the source PGN database is the clean white 2400. Uh, I'm going to call this w1.bin and I'm going to limit this to 16 moves and minimum number of games 50. In other words, I'd like quite a, uh, I'd like opening lines that are really quite well known and quite well established. And then I also want to add a bit of variation, so I create another book, again, only white, PGN, clean 2400. I'm going to call this W2. And I'm going to say I want a maximum of 60 ply 
but I want a minimum of five games. So this is going to create a larger opening book, which won't have as much weight, but uh, will give an extra level of variation. And then I'm going to merge those books, merge book W1, W2 to create W12. And I'm going to do exactly the same for black. And finally, the final line, it, uh, it merges uh, opening book W12 with W uh, with B12 to create maverick.bin. Okay, so it's all automated, and if you do change the names of the databases, then the only line, the only thing you really need to change are these two sections here the black 2400 and the white 2400. So let's see if it works. Double click. It's reading all those games. It obviously runs as a console app, text file. So this is the extract program that's working at the moment. I believe there was around about 250,000 in white. It's nearly finished. Yep. So now Polyglot is inserting those games. It obviously has some clever memory management, so it in increases the size of the memory that it uses as it goes along. So this is the first pass. Yep, so it's done that, and now it's creating the broader book, which would be quite a bit bigger, and of course a lot more games go into that, so it needs more memory. Halfway through that second book, Here we go. Two hundred twenty. Final step is to merge them, and that's actually pretty easy to do. So that's done, and now it does exactly the same for black. So I won't bore you by letting you. I'll come back when this is all finished for black. And then we'll have a look at what's being created. And we're done. So let's press a key and let's see what's being created. So there are sort of three books for each color and then one merged book. So we've got W1, which is the, the narrower book, and you can see it's only uh, 62K. We've got W2, which is broader. Uh, and that is 889 and then merge those together W1 and 2 is 838 and then the same for black and then it's all merged into Maverick's book which is just over 1.3 megabytes now uh, if you want you can actually go and uh, put this in the skid.bin.book directory maverick.bin and then I'm going to start skid up again and there are some tools in here to do book tuning and the like there is also a book view let me just show you that book window so you can now have a look and see what books and what weights are actually in the Maverick opening book. And as you go through, play different moves, you can see the weights of all the different options. So it looks pretty good. Hope you found this tutorial useful. So uh, if people like it, then I can do some more on the chessprogramming.net website. Thank you.